Well, here I am at Quality Auto Body again. Painting motorcycle parts. This time they were my own parts for my own bike. Ten parts around here. I'm turning my 250 tire chopper into a 250 tire rigid bagger. <laughs> if you can believe that, that usually don't happen. <laughs> I think it's going to be a one of a kind. Anyway, I'm using the new, well, I've used this clear before, it's not new really. Ucream HS, which means high solids polyurethane glamour coat clear. It's specially made for going over uh, candies and pearls and stuff like that. It's not used to what I'm, uh, it's, it's not what, what I'm used to spraying. Um, the normal stuff we spray is real thin, but goes on real nice. This stuff here goes on real orange peely, but then it flows out like a mirror. So it's a little tricky to get used to, but uh, I wanted the high solids clear because uh, it holds up the sunlight good. And that, and plus this stuff, it's supposed to be able to buff this stuff good. So I don't know if I'll need to buff it or not. We'll find out. Yeah, we got a pretty good shine on that. That's, that's the way it flows out. It gets pretty nice for black. Anyway, uh, these bags are uh, 14 inch stretched bags. You can see by that one how far it stretched back. They're real, real swoopy. Here's the top covers for them. This is the dash. That's a steel dash that goes on top of the gas tank. Uh, speaking of the gas tank, the gas tank's right here. Uh, looks like a stock Harley tank, but it sure is not. It's, it's uh, a custom tank that I bought. Didn't fit my bike way too wide. I ended up sectioning two and a half inches out of the whole middle of the tank. All right here, this hole used to be four inches, uh, another two and a half inches wider for a big old fat Harley Davidson, whatever. But anyway, I made that, uh, uh, I welded plates in for that hole to fit my frame. And like I said, I cut this whole tank all the way down this way, all the way straight through the gas cap there and took two and a half inches out of it. Up, up top and down underneath in the, in the tunnel. Welded it all back together, sealed it. <clears throat> this is a steel front fender that I bought off eBay used. Uh, and the fender, the whole fender looked like that before. Or now right up here in the front, I cut it about right here. Well, actually back up about right there. I cut it and added four inches to it right there in steel. Then also the fender lip used to come up around here like this and go down. I added this piece of steel on both sides. That's all welded in. So it's gonna be a unique one of a kind all steel fender. These side panels right here uh, are all handmade. This piece goes up and goes underneath the gas tank and then these go back and meet the bags. You'll see it when it's on the bike. Both of these started out as a gallon of uh, fiberglass, actually two gallons of fiberglass, uh, a bunch of mat and some kids cardboard. I made these completely from scratch. You can't buy these anywhere. And they're custom made just for my bike. This is the back fender. Uh, you can see this big old swoopy fender. Uh, the license plate hole there, I had to make bigger. Uh, I don't know what kind of license plate they were going to try and put in there before, but the hole was too small for a license plate, so I had to open that up, make it bigger, redo all that. Now, this part here is where it gets tricky. Uh, this fender was made to fit a stock Harley. So from this ridge to this ridge is about eight inches. That's the stock Harley. That's the way the fender came right there. From this ridge over here and from this ridge over here, I made on this fender. Uh, this is a fiberglass fender, so I did all that out of fiberglass. Um, I had to make, extend that out so that it would fit my 250 tire fender. This fender goes over top of my old fender. Um, they said it couldn't be done, but guess what? <laughs> I showed him, didn't I? You can put a, you can put a, a eight inch wide fender on an 11 and a half inch wide fender. <laughs> so this, this ended up almost 13 inches wide with eight there. And like I said, that's all made, handmade. Got a lot of time in that. 
This last piece right here, this is the front chin spoiler. This is another project too. I bought this off of eBay for like 60 bucks and it didn't fit my bike. It was way too narrow. And it didn't have the third windows at the top right up here. It only had these two windows right here. So I had to end up cutting this thing right up through here. And on both sides, I cut both sides apart and I added about an inch to maybe an inch and a half on both sides and then put it back together. And then I added the third set of windows at the top. And this thing, you, when I bought it off eBay, it was only about this tall, it stopped right there. I ended up adding the top set of windows and extending the rest of this on up here so it fits my frame right. So this thing's been sectioned and added to, and uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's major, major project right there, trimmed and all kinds of stuff. But it looks beautiful now. It looks like something you might just buy and paint, but I got a ton of time in that. Anyway, that's my uh, motorcycle parts for right now. Uh, some of this will get sanded and get graphics put on, and that'll be on the next video. And then there'll be a video of them going on, on the bike. Going home, take a shower. See ya.